Hey guys, today is what day 10, day 11 of insanity my story. Man, it feels like I've been doing this program for a month already. I don't know if you can see, I have sweat dripping, oh my god, from every single pore in my body. Oh my god, my face is so bad. Um, you know, I've been breaking out really bad lately, and I never break out. I have like little breakouts everywhere, and I'm wondering, I don't know if it's from the sweat because it's never happened before so I doubt it or maybe it's just from taking such a long time off and then jumping back in I'm sorry I'm, I really do have sweat everywhere like it's in my face and anyways today was sweat intervals and I maxed out at 7 minutes and 45 seconds and it was torture today's workout was torture um, today and tomorrow will probably be the last day that I do these kind of daily video vlogs just because I don't want to crowd up my YouTube channel with them and um, I wanted today and tomorrow to be the last days because today is actually Christmas Eve. This will go up way after Christmas Eve, maybe even in January, but um, today is Christmas Eve and um, I wanted to just share with you guys that I have a ton of stuff to do today and I went to bed last night exhausted. So. That's kind of, let me just talk about first, today's workout, getting up this morning, I got up at 6.30 so that I could be awake before the kids, um, because they are off on break, obviously, and I got up at 6.30 and I already knew that it was going to be a struggle, because just as I had assumed would happen, my upper body was so sore from all the push-ups that we did yesterday during um, Tabata strength, my even, like everything is sore, my biceps, my forceps, everything. Um, and so, and I was really tired, so I knew that today was going to be a struggle. I think it was just a lot of things, like, yesterday's workout killed me. Um, I was so tired after yesterday's workout that, um, I was already tired from the night before not going to bed until 12, and I normally go to bed around 8.30, so that's a, you know, a big deal for me. Um, but so I was already tired, and then I did the workout yesterday, and that just wore me out. And I was so worn out, and the, one of my children was acting out, so I um, I knew I couldn't be in the house, or I would lose patience. So we left the house, ran a bunch of errands, came back, kids were fighting all day. So the day yesterday was just, I was exhausted, I was stressed out, I was just done, like done. And then I went to bed, my husband woke me up to order some tickets for a theme park, so even more dead, I was just done. Um, and so this morning, I was tired, I mean I'm okay, but I was tired, I was sore, and I also knew that I had so many things I have to do today. I have to finish filming an intro for a video for this channel, I have to do a Facebook makeup for that, I have to um, prepare for a Christmas dinner, I have to go to the Christmas dinner, I have to run errands, I have to pack the rest of the gifts, I have to cook a ton of cookies for dinner parties in um, Santa Claus. So it, I just, I think my mind was playing with me. like. I wanted to get the workout out of the way, but at the same time, I was, I think my mind was saying like, hey, you know, if you kill yourself this morning, you're going to be dead all day because it's a busy day. So I was just constantly going back and forth. And I won't lie, today was, like I said, it was torture. I, I was pausing after, I'd say almost every other workout, um, every other move, uh, I stopped after the warm up to use the restroom, which I probably could have gotten away with not going, but I, you know, I took advantage of it. My legs felt like 12 tons the entire workout. I have sweat dripping off my body. Things are sore that I didn't even know. I don't know how they're sore. Um, my son woke up within about 15 minutes into the workout, so I took that time to go and um, put him back. So it was it was rough. It was um, not fun, but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it positive and light, and that I I did um, improve my max out time. I didn't improve by much, but I improved, and so that's progress, and I'll take it. I'll take any progress I can get. So today I did my workout. It's Christmas Eve. I'm not going to have to worry about it for the rest of the day. Tomorrow I'm going to, fingers crossed, I plan to, but, you know, sometimes we fall short, but fingers crossed I get my workout in tomorrow. I'm going to try to do it super early, but then at the same time, if my kids wake up out of excitement and stop me in the middle of my workout, I don't want to be kind of a sweaty mess. For that so we're, we're just gonna play it by ear and see how that goes um but yeah so today's workout is done sweat intervals is tough 
And um, I'll see you guys for the next video. Okay? So, bye! Oh, and also, one thing, because I'm being honest here, this is so embarrassing, but we're being honest, and I'm, I'm always very honest, I'm very vulnerable, I share everything, because that's just how I am. I want people to get a true experience for what happens, and how I kind of go through life. Today's workout was so crazy that I took off my clothes. Like, my bra was on, my underwear were on, but I took off my clothes because I was just annoyed that they were squeezing in places that I didn't want them squeezing, my shorts were too tight, and so I just got undressed, and I felt so silly, I felt ridiculous, but it was also freeing in a way because I saw the areas that I wanted to shape up, like I saw my legs, and it helped me to push through the workouts, which is another thing. Like I said, today's workout was tough. I don't even know how I had it in my mind to keep going. I kept saying, just skip this move and wait for the next one and do the next one. And I was like, no, like, I really hate this move, so I'm going to do it because I want to get better with it. Like, there was one point we did the power jumps, and I despise power jumps more than anything else, more than any other workout on the planet. I swear to you, I despise them more than anything. Um, and I was telling myself to just not worry about it and to skip it, and then I, I slapped myself in the head like, what are you doing? No. Like, these are never going to get easier. They're never going to get to be more manageable until you do them and until you push past your comfort zone, and that is where you see change. So you really have to think, like, what is it in my workout or in life or in my brain that I'm stopping myself? What is that barrier that I'm creating for myself, and how can I break through it? How can I talk myself into doing it and getting over it and moving forward? And when you do that, it kind of opens up. We've talked about this before. I won't go on about it, but it opens up kind of a world of possibilities for you. So you feel accomplished. You feel successful. Anyways, I'm done. I can't even think straight. I'll see you guys later. Bye.